And last talk of the session and last talk uh, of the day is entitled Electromagnetic Information Extortion from Electronic Devices Using Interceptor and its Countermeasure. Uh, the paper is written by Masahiro Kinugawa, Daisuke Fujimoto, and Yuichi Hayashi. And Yuichi will give the presentation whenever he's ready. The floor is yours. Okay. Uh, just a moment. Okay, uh, thank you very much for your uh, introduction. Uh, this, uh, 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 this is joint work and Masahiro and uh, Daisuke. Uh, the presenter is uh, uh, me. Okay, uh, the first, uh, the, uh, in this presentation, the, we focus on uh, the EM attacks, uh, the well-known uh, hardware security threat. EM attacks can be performed non-invasively without uh, leaving any hard evidence. Uh, the first, I, uh, first uh, the background, uh, the non-invasive uh, uh, background uh, to this presentation, I'd like to introduce conventional EM attacks. Uh, to help understand EM attacks, uh, I'd like to show you a demo. Uh, this demo that we focus on the display uh, uh, as a popular attack target in conventional studies. Okay. Uh, this is uh, the demo. Uh, the EM leakage uh, from a tablet display uh, was observed and the screen information was uh, reconstructed. Uh, this is a cheap antenna. Uh, this is a SDR. This is a signal processing PC. Uh, this is a target device. Uh, this antenna is observed the leakage information by using EM. He's an attacker. <laughs> uh, the monitor is, uh, con uh, the, his monitor is connected to the signal processing PC and using uh, the remote desktop. And he can confirm reconstructed the image in real time by using observed EM uh, leakage. The target user is input uh, information using software keyboard. The input string is uh, detected automatically like this. Okay. This is a conventional study, conventional. Okay, uh, here a target uh, device, uh, example of EM attacks. Uh, the information leakage occurred due to unintentional EM emission uh, from uh, these electric, uh, electrical devices. Uh, even in a uh, device not listed here, and the device uh, handling uh, the information as electrical signal uh, may be target uh, to this kind of uh, threat. On the other hand, uh, not all electrical devices are target to EM attacks. Uh, some device has weak uh, EM emissions uh, potentially decree. Uh, so uh, these devices uh, were out of conventional EM attacks. The from here, uh, the we uh, the propose a method uh, for possibly causing EM uh, leakage from uh, leakage uh, leakage free devices. Uh, the first, I, I, I will explain uh, the attack concept of this uh, presentation. But here is uh, uh, the target device. Uh, this device is uh, properly a uh, leakage-free device. Uh, the to extract the information uh, from this device, uh, that we install an interceptor on the device. Uh, next, we irradiate uh, the device with EM wave. Uh, then, the interceptor is activated and it leaks uh, target information uh, by EM emission. And then, the attacker uh, can observe information by measuring EM emission. Uh, next, I, uh, next, I will explain the interceptor in detail. Uh, as you know, uh, Bloomberg uh, published an article uh, the last year uh, the, about the possibility of malicious circuit uh, being installed on the uh, board uh, during, the, uh, during the manufacturing process. In this uh, article, uh, as samples 
uh, the very small element uh, was shown. Our proposed interceptor uh, is also very small, like this, this one. Uh, the, therefore, uh, the, as Bloomberg is, uh, Bloomberg's article mentions, it may be installed during the device manufacturing process. Moreover, interceptor uh, can also be installed after fabrication. Uh, this slide shows uh, the, public, uh, the function uh, of proposal intercept, uh, proposed interceptor. Uh, the interceptor uh, the causes EM leakage uh, the forcibly and uh, control the leakage, uh, the timing, and the strength, and the distance. And the interceptor uh, does not need a special antenna uh, the, for EM leakage. And the, uh, moreover, interceptor uh, keeps the original uh, shape of the target signal. Uh, this slide shows the primitive of interceptor. Uh, interceptor consists of a uh, MOSFET and uh, short wires. And uh, uh, it leaks information outside the, the device by installing uh, it in uh, the peripheral circuit of IC and uh, uh, attached to cables uh, like this. Uh, next, I will explain uh, behavior of interceptor. The here, uh, interceptor installed uh, the on a transmission line. Uh, in this explanation, uh, the we, uh, the I only uh, the mention uh, a transmission line. Uh, however, the interceptor uh, works on the PCB inside the device uh, with the same principle. The intentional electromagnetic irradiation uh, is performed against the cable uh, with interceptor. Intercept, uh, the irradiation wave uh, the, uh, induced uh, on the cable uh, that propagates the interceptor uh, and activate it. Under this situation, interceptor uh, demodulate, uh, excuse me, uh, the interceptor modulates uh, the target signal, uh, target signal uh, using the uh, induced signal as a carrier frequency. The demodulated signal is re-emitted uh, uh, re by using a cable as antenna, and the information uh, can be acquired by demodulated it outside the device. Uh, from uh, this observation, uh, we can extract target information. The here, uh, I will explain how to select the MOSFET uh, that is the core component of uh, interceptor. Uh, this, uh, de this selection uh, can be determined by uh, the frequency and the voltage uh, of the target signal. Uh, also, uh, the six devices uh, are, shown in, uh, are shown here. Other devices uh, can be uh, attacked by proper MOS, um, MOSFET selection. Uh, the, uh, from here on, uh, the, we will uh, the we will explain in detail uh, the leakage of highlighted device, highlighted devices. Uh, if you are interested in other devices, uh, the please check our paper. At uh, the first, I will, I will focus on the display, uh, the which are uh, popular target in conventional studies. Uh, the target display uh, here is a leakage-free device. Uh, so uh, information cannot uh, be obtained by conventional EM attacks. Uh, here is uh, the explanation of target display signal. Uh, the, uh, this signal is generated by display uh, driver uh, and transmitted to the uh, display uh, through the cable. Uh, the, this time, uh, interceptor uh, installed in the cable. Uh, the, this, slide, uh, this slide shows the circuit structure and the implementation of interceptor. Uh, interceptor circuit uh, is a simple uh, circuit consisting uh, of MOSFET and the short wire. And interceptor is connected to the target, uh, target signal and the shield line. Uh, the, uh, the here, uh, interceptor is hidden by ferrite right core. Uh, this time, uh, it was uh, mounted after fabrication, uh, the, but if uh, it was mounted in the manufacturing process, uh, the, it would be more difficult to find uh, because it, uh, it would be covered with uh, covering. 
Okay, uh, here I show you an example of installing an interceptor on a display cable. Uh, here is Masahiro, course. This is a target cable. First, he removing cable. Uh, the he removed chip. He got sealed. And he uh, the exposing uh, target wire. Now the he do the pre soldering. He insert a wire tapping. Now he installing interceptor. Okay, just five uh, the five thirty. Okay. Uh, the, uh, in this way, uh, the interceptor can be uh, the implemented within uh, the few minutes uh, the, so that we can install the interceptor uh, the after publication. Okay, uh, this slide uh, shows uh, attack setups. Uh, the the attack, attack uh, setup uh, consists of the uh, transmitting system and receiving system. Uh, this is a photo of the setups, uh, the stationary setup uh, has a high antenna gain, uh, the, so uh, uh, it can attack from a distance. The portable setup uh, the has a low antenna sensitivity, but it, uh, it is uh, easy to carry uh, the around. Okay, <laughs> Let, uh, let's see how information is obtained by using interceptor. as the power uh, transmitted from antenna uh, was constant, and, but uh, intensity of EM leakage uh, that can be controlled by changing the transmitted power, like this. Uh, this result shows attack feasibility uh, uh, from a distance by changing the irradiation strength. Next, I'd like to introduce EM leakage from smart speaker. Uh, in this uh, case, the interceptor is installed on the flexible cable uh, that connect a main board and uh, uh, the peripheral board. Uh, this interceptor uh, the leaks a pickup sound uh, the by smart speakers microphone. Smart speakers always pick up um, ambient sounds, uh, the, so attacker can monitor the surrounding sound uh, of smart speaker by observing uh, EM leakage. Okay, I show you them again. This is final demo. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a smart speaker. This is interceptor. This is target sound. Okay. 
What is this dice game? Co our call, sir. Uh, this is uh, the attack setup. Uh, this PC is monitoring leakage sound information. Before we radiate, uh, we cannot hear the leakage sound. Uh, by uh, the EM irradiation, interceptor is activated and leaks as uh, the sound information. We can hear sound. The around the target smart speaker. Okay, finally, I would like to show you a case study uh, for crypto module. Uh, here, uh, target uh, the algorithm is RSA. Uh, uh, the, in this example, uh, interceptor is used to leak side channel uh, information caused by during RSA processing. Uh, this uh, interceptor uh, leaks upper envelope of side channel information. Uh, the fan EM wave is not irradiated. Uh, information uh, cannot, ob uh, cannot be observed like this. Uh, the, but uh, the fan EM wave uh, irradiated, the side channel information uh, envelope leaks. Like this, uh, we can extract the secret information, uh, a secret key, by using this kind of leakage. Uh, this uh, is a result at five meter uh, the, from the target device. Uh, the even weak signal, uh, such as side channel information, can be leaked at a distance uh, using the interceptor. Okay, next I briefly explain a uh, detection method. Uh, if you are interested in uh, this kind of uh, detection method, please check our paper for details. Uh, the interceptor uh, detection method uh, that consists of active and passive sensing. Uh, here I introduce the passive sensing. Uh, the once interceptor was installed, uh, the equivalent circuit of the device uh, changed dynamically. Uh, the, then a spectrum of EM emission also changes like this. Uh, the, therefore, it may be possible to detect uh, the interceptor by comparing the, uh, the uh, compa uh, comparing the spectrum with and without uh, interceptor. Okay, I conclude my presentation. Uh, in this presentation, uh, the, we propose interceptor uh, that possibly leak information from the leakage-free devices. Uh, the, it was uh, shown uh, the timing and the distance and the intensity of leakage can be controlled by using interceptors. And uh, the, I also briefly explained how to detect interceptors. Uh, in this paper, uh, uh, in this, uh, in this paper uh, the, we focused on only six devices, but uh, there are possibility uh, that the interceptor applied to other electrical devices. Thank you for your kind attention. Thanks for the presentation. We have time for questions. Where are the spies? No one? Again. All right, I start. Um, so my first question would be, what, what's the cost of, let's say, the, the high power setup? High power setup? Mm. High power setup is uh, probably mm, this um, mm, lovely. <laughs> 10,000? Uh, probably 10,000. Uh, 50,000? Uh, 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 probably 10,000. 10,000? 10,000, yeah. Uh, if the frequency is uh, increased, the uh, cost is very um, reduced by using the amateur radio uh, transmitter, by using uh, such uh, equipment, uh, uh, by, we can buy the around the 100 to the uh, 500, uh, 500 dollar only. Thank you. I have another question. Have you, do you have an idea um, um, how, how the thickness of walls affects the signal propagation? So can, can I measure this through a wall that is one meter thick? Uh, the, you mean the, uh, uh, the please uh, repeat the discussion. So you, sh you showed that you can like measure from the neighboring room uh -huh. the signal from the other room. Uh -huh. So there was a wall in between. Uh -huh. What if that wall is one meter thick? 
I uh, probably uh, the is if water includes some uh, the water and uh, the electromagnetic waves decreasing, but uh, we increase the emission uh, the emission power. Uh, the we uh, the how to say that we uh, this way we reach to the target that depending on the power and the, the material of uh, wall. Okay, so proper shielding would be needed. To sh like if I have sh really shielding in the wall. Yeah, but the, the shield room, uh, the how to say the shield room uh, the has uh, some power supply line that we inject the power supply line. This power supply line is uh, conducted to the inside the shield room. More questions, comments? No, okay, thanks again. Thank you.